Hello friends, welcome to MS Update Webcast. In this video, I will show you the steps on how to remove Active Directory Domain Service Server role on Windows Server 2012 R2 Domain Controller. To remove Active Directory Domain Service Server role, we can use Saw Manager or we can use PowerShell CMD Labs. But for this demonstration, we will use Saw Manager to remove Active Directory Domain Service Server role. Already I open Active Directory Users and Computer Console. And if you click on a Domain Controllers container, here we can see we have a two domain controller for our mylib.local to Our first domain controller is srt dc one and that is our root domain controller. That DC also holds all the FSMO roles for our mylib.local to And that DC is also configured as a global catalog server. We have another domain controller and that is our additional domain controller named srt dc two. And we want to remove active directory domain service server role from that domain controller name as rt-dc02. So first of all, let's check which domain controller holds the, all the FSMO roles. So let's open command prompt and at the command prompt, I'm going to type command net dom query FSMO and then press enter. After a few seconds, you will see the results. As you can see, the current schema master, domain naming master, PDC, RID pool manager and the infrastructure master domain controller is srt dc one so, so we can say srt dc one holds all the FSMO role for our forest. Now let's move to our uh, srt dc two domain controller. On that DC, we want to remove accurately to domain service. So first of all, you have to open the server manager and on the server manager dashboard, let's click on manage, select remove rules and features. On the before you begin page, review the information and then click on next. On select destination server page, let's select our local server and that is srt dc 2 Let's click on next. On a remove server role page, select active directory to me service and then clear the checkbox. That will give you another pop-up for remove roles and features wizard. Let's click on remove features as well. Now you will receive an error that is a validation result. The validation error appears because the activity to me service server role binaries cannot be removed while the server is running as a domain controller. So if you want to remove activity directory domain service server role from this server, first you have to demote this domain controller and then you are able to remove activity directory domain service server role. So let's click on demote this domain controller and that will open activity directory domain service configuration wizard. By using this wizard, we can demote this domain controller. On a credential page, you have to supply the credential to perform this action. But already I log in as a domain administrator on this server. So we do not have to supply any other credential. If your previous attempt to remove LEDs on this domain controller have failed, then you can select the force the removal of this domain controller. But that is not our case. So let's click on next. On warning page, you can see this domain controller currently hosts the following role and that is DNS role. Now let's uh, click on proceed with removal and then let's click on next. Now specify the new administrator password and that is for our this server's local administrator accounts password. Once you specify the password, let's click on next. Now you can uh, review your selection. You are going to remove activity domain service from this computer. When the process is complete, this server will be a member of domain mylab.local. Right now, this server has a domain controller for our domain. Now, right now, as you can see, this server's computer account is stored under domain controller's container. But at the end of that operation, that account will be moved to computer's container. Let's move to srt dc 2 again and let's click on demote to start the procedure. After demotion process, your server will be reboot automatically. After restart, let's again log into our server as rtf and gc 2 Now this time, as you can see, we have a mylab slash administrator. But this server is now a member server to our domain. And if you want to log in as a local administrator account, that time you can use other user. And from this, you have to specify the credential administrator and then you have to specify the password which we set earlier during the demotion process. And then you are able to log into our srt dc 2 Now once you log into your Windows Server, let's open command prompt and let's type a command QMR. 
Now, as you can see, currently I log in as a local administrator account, and that is the administrator of our local server SRT hyphen GC02. Now, let's uh, again try to remove Active Directory to me service. Let's click on Manage, select Remove Roles and Features, click on Next, select the local server, then click on Next, and select Active Directory to me service. But before we remove Active Directory to me service, Let's come back to our srt tc one domain controller. And as you can see, currently under computer's container, we do not have any computer account. Let's right click on it and select refresh. And as you can see, right now we have our one computer account and that is srt tc two, which is earlier stored under domain controller's container. Let's right click on it and select refresh. Now srt tc two computer account is gone from domain controller's container and that is moved to computer's container because this computer account is now the computer account of our member server not a domain controller so remove the checkbox to remove active directory domain service click on remove features as well we also want to remove the dns server role so i'm going to clear the checkbox for dns server role as well let's click on remove features click on next Click on next and click on remove. Another reboot completes the removal procedure of Active Directory Domain Service and DNS Server Rule. Hope this video will help you and that's it for this demonstration. Remember, do not forget to reboot these Windows Server 2012 computer. Thanks for watching this video.